everyone welcome to an early morning winter video and you're joining me on the Grantham Canal I'm just outside of Cotgrave or well, Cotgrave Village is over there we've got the former Cotgrave Colliery now a huge huge housing estate we're at Joss's Lock number eight look at that beautiful sky and that's something else and look at that absolutely frozen it's currently saying it's minus three on my phone app at the moment so back on the ground from canal last time i was at this point it was mid 20 degrees um may 2019 gonna do a short walk because i didn't want to miss this beautiful sky beautiful snow on the ground we're gonna go as far as the village of cropwell butler now yes the ground from canal goes beside and through cropwell bishop but today i'm going to the village of cropwell butler which is about a mile and a half away from bishop so we're going to see how often i can get the drone up Got to be careful because we are near an airfield, so it will not let me fly it if I cannot fly it. If it will let me fly it, as you've already seen a little bit. So I'll see you a bit further down. Now, it wasn't until around about 1950 that coal was discovered underground in and around Cotgrave. And it took until the 1960s, the early 1960s in fact, before a coal mine was constructed. Around about a workforce of 500 miners. And the pit carried on only until 93, 1994, when all mining ceased, land was sold off, turned into a beautiful country park as it stands there's still a little bit of the former track bed still there for the railway it went in to serve the colliery and you can follow that all the way to radcliffe on trent and as i say the housing estate sits on the entire surrounding area of the former and on the former coal mine beautiful beautiful light from behind the sun shining on those frozen bushes and trees in the canal bed got a little bit of frozen canal just here oh it's absolutely freezing look at the sun glistening through there absolutely stunning look at that So next up we've got to cross Stragglethorpe Road and once we've done that we'll go on a little straight section before going under the A46 dual carriageway road which will take you between Leicester and Newark. Immediately after that we've got an empty lock. We're going to see if we can get inside the lock and see what it looks like, see if it's icy, any water in it or if it's still bone dry like it was when I came almost two years ago. Come on.
So before we get to the A46, we've got lock number nine. It's a pair of locks known as Cropwell locks. So lock number nine, lock number 10. Looks pretty deep that one, doesn't it? Quite a bit of undergrowth down there and some trees all frozen and snowed up. Got the sun rising beautifully over there. The busy, although not as busy as usual, A46, because it's nice and early. I'm going to go under it very, very soon, just down there. Cockgrave is about ooh, two, two and a half miles behind us. So lock number 10, that's Cropwell lock number 10, immediately next to the A46. I'm just coming up to that right now. You see the A46 just there, look, the lock is just there, up that little tiny incline. Let's get up there and have a look. So you can see the entrance to it there, look, I'm not going to tread anywhere near that because I'm going to end up down the bottom. Uh, pretty deep just here as well. Look at that. It's got deeper the more closer I've got towards Crotwell Bishop. That lock looks a lot clearer than the other one, but it also looks a heck of a lot deeper. We've got the very frozen... Oh, gosh, yeah, I can't move that. Someone's decided to spray over that. Look, idiots. Um, and then there's the top end of the lot. There's the A46 there, look. If I spin you around, there you go. Cropwell lock number 10. So next up, got a nice clear bit of canal bed here, look. Here's the A46. This was um, rebuilt as a dual carriageway around about 2012, I believe that was completed. And there's an old bridge the other side of this where the original road used to run. It's just coming into view now. So this is bridge 18A. And that'll be bridge number 18 that you can see just through there. So that's looking back, look at that. See, Nottingham and West Bridgeford is going to be a number of miles over there. Cotgraves over in that direction. We're going to take you under this bridge now. Yeah, no snow down there. Look. Quite a few footprints in there though. And I'll get you out to bridge number 18, which again is the original road. Cool, back in the snow. So there's the other side of the A46. Let's get you underneath this one. See on the other side where we'll meet up with lock number 11. I love these old bridges. There we go, out the other side. So yeah, there's the original bridge lock. You get my face out of the way. That's great, isn't it? Now immediately as we turn around, we've got the next lock. I've been inside this lock before when I come last time. And it was all dry. As I say, at the beginning of the walk, really high temperatures, mid 25s. And there's quite a, oh, let's get you up here a bit quicker. Save me rabbiting on. So yeah, there you go, lock entrance lock. And that's grown quite a lot in there since I last came. And the snow is even thicker on this side. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? So, don't think I can really get in it this time. This has got a lot of icy water in the bottom. We'll get you to the top end of the lock. And then we're going to come off the canal very, very soon and head on over to Crotwell Butler. Beautiful, isn't it, that? And there we go. Now just from the lock down there, we've only covered about 100 metres, we've got the remains of an old swing bridge look. Totally covered in snow as you'd expect, totally icy up. Let's see if I can find an old picture of that. The snow, is, there's a hell of a lot more of it on the ground now look. We've got the sun dead ahead. We've got Cropwell Bishop about half a mile over there. Cropwell Butler is about a mile and a little bit over that way. A 
Okay, it's this point we're going to say goodbye to the Grantham Canal. So where the sun lies, that is Cropwell Bishop. And we're going to head off towards Cropwell Butler. So you can see we're walking away from the sunrise now. Because I've got to get over there. Cropwell Butler is about half, three quarters of a mile there. And uh, Amy brought me this way ooh, around about a month ago. But we come from Butler to the canal. And when you're with someone and you've never been somewhere before, it's, um, it's fine. But when you're doing it on your own for the first time and you're going in the opposite direction, it's a little bit... I can see where I'm going, but I've just got to try and stick to the footpaths and make my way there where Amy will be waiting for me. So that little bit there is going to take me back on the canal on the opposite side. But I'm going to go this way. It looks a bit familiar, but I think we'll be all right. Because I've still got a head towards the sun. The sun rises over Crockwell Bishop and Butler is just just east of the sunrise so again that's where we just come from canal is sort of like that sunrise over there now i'm going to take a oh look at this nice oh i recognize this now icy pond yeah i'm going to go this way Right, not long to go now, so I'm going to take this down here, take a right, and it'll put me onto a little route into Cropwell Butler Village, which is just over there. Once you get these brambles out of the way, you'll see it. A46 is right the other side of that green building. The canal is about half a mile over there. There you go, the village is just popping into sight now, look. So there's a gate down there, and I'm going to walk that way which will be journey's end for today. Look at that beautiful sky behind me. Get a load of that. Right, let's get on to the next bit of the track and then I'll bid you farewell.
do hope you've enjoyed this beautiful snowy sunrise walk from Cockgrave to Cropwell Butler. Like, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell. I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Stay safe, everyone. Look after yourself. Goodbye for now.